Is he hearing you? No. You okay? Yeah, my, my mom was just giving me the third degree. Yeah. Did you tell her what we were doing here? No. Well, I think you should. I think you should tell Grant as well. I'll tell Grant I was in Bay City, but I just don't think he could handle this, Ryan. You seeing me? No, me seeing a hypnotist. He, he wants me to forget what happened in the cave, not remember more. All right, well, after this guy gets you, I'll leave you two alone. Wait. Wait, I mean, don't you want to find out what happened... With Carl? Of course. Please, I really need you here with me. I've never done anything like this before. It's okay. Listen, the guy that we got in contact with, he's Drew Golding. He's a doctor of uh, forensic psychology at BCU. He's done a lot of this through the police department. Listen, do you think maybe he would um, put me under and then leave us alone? No. No, that's not the way it works, Vic. No, I'm just saying that... I mean, I think it would be easier for me to open up like that. No. I, I don't think that would be a really good idea. All right, all right, all right. What if I start talking about what happened between us in the cave? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll just steer him clear of it. But what if it doesn't work? I mean, if the press find out about this, Grant's career could be Rick, over. Look, no one is going to find out. <sighs> this guy is a professional. Everything will be held in strict confidence. Oh, no, maybe this was a mistake. Dr. Golding. Hi. Ryan Harrison. Um, we've worked together before um, with Bay City Police Department Homicide Division. Yes, I thought the face was familiar. Right. Um, this is uh, Victoria Harrison. Of course, the senator's wife. It's a pleasure to meet you in person. Thank you. So, are you ready to begin? Glenn! Oh, well, what a pleasant surprise. I thought you were in Washington. I just got back. But I thought you were in a filibuster. The news said you were... Yeah, well, I was until 6.30 this morning, at which point the opposition caved in. <laughs> and I came home to tell my beautiful wife, and uh, she wasn't there. I'm sure you were very concerned. Yeah. Well, uh, Bridget said she flew to Bay City to see you. Yes, yeah, she did. Is she here? No, she's not. Well, then where is she? I overslept because I've been working like a dog, which is no surprise. Uh, but uh, Victoria was gone when I got up. She didn't tell you where she went? I think she went to have her hair done. Hmm. At her usual spot? Or was it a facial? I know she wanted to try that new French salon. What was the name of it? Is that what she told you? She said either one or the other, either a facial or having her hair appointment. But I just know that she had an early appointment. I see. If I know her, she's probably lying there, neck deep in deep cleansing facial mud. You know she'll suffer anything to be beautiful for oh, you. You really think she came all the way back to Bay City just to get a facial done? Well, you know how obsessive she is. She's very loyal to her regimen. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. She's loyal to a fault. Why don't you wait for her? Sit down, have some breakfast. No, thanks. I'm not hungry. If you could just give me the name of the salon. Oh. Okay. It's Monsieur... something. Um... Or is it Pronton? I don't know. It's just flown right out of my mind. Sit down and have a cup of coffee. No, I don't sure want to bother you. I know you're busy. You have enough on your no. mind than worrying about Victoria. It's no bother. I'm not worried about her. I'm sure you're not. As a matter of fact, I just realized how I can find her. Huh. I'll just look in her address book. I'm sure she keeps the names of all her favorite salons in her address book. Silly me, of course. I should have thought of that. Yes. Well, thank you very much, Donna. Well, I wish you could stay. We never have time to chat. Perhaps another time. Bye. Bye. My sister-in-law, uh, she keeps on having the same recurring dream. No, it's, uh, it's not a dream. It's a memory, I'm sure. We feel that she's having subconscious memories of a traumatic experience that she suffered. When she was kidnapped? I read the newspaper stories about the cave. She feels as if she's remembering the man who actually kidnapped her. When I'm asleep, I can see him so clearly, but when I wake up, I just, I can't describe it. Her memory may be a little hazy. Um, she was just regaining consciousness when she saw him. When she was brought to the cave, she was drugged? Yes. I, I need to see his face. I mean, I, I have to see this guy. Um, Vicky feels that um, she's actually seen this guy here in Bay City. And I just don't want to be afraid for, for myself anymore or for my son. 
Hypnosis is the best way to help you remember. Are you ready? Um, everything that she says while she's under will be held in strict confidence, correct? Confidentiality is guaranteed, just like any doctor-patient relationship. Thank you. There's nothing for you to worry about. Okay. Would you rather do this alone? No, 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 please. I, I really want Ryan to be here. All right. Let's get started. Okay. Why don't you uh, sit here? All right. Now, I want you to feel totally relaxed. Close your eyes. All right, just wait a minute. Now, is this going to feel like I'm asleep? I mean, how, how am I going to know when this is happening? You won't feel anything different. All I do is ask you to relax and listen to my voice. The more you listen and relax, the easier you'll find it to answer questions. Okay, sounds painless enough. It is. Now, close your eyes. Take a deep breath. Let your lungs fill. That's it. And let it out. Good. Now, let your shoulders relax. Okay, I'm relaxed. I'm ready. Go. No, you're not. What do you mean? How do you know? Your knuckles are white from grabbing the table. Oh, what if I can't do this? I mean, what, what if this isn't going to work? Vicky, Vicky, just give it a chance, okay? Right, okay, you're right. I have to be able to do this. If I ever want to get a full night of sleep again, I mean, this is making me crazy. Vicky. It's okay. Okay. I just have to see his face. You will. I promise, but you have to try and calm down. Do you think you can do that? Will you help me? I'll be here every step of the way. Okay, okay. Let's do it. I want to see this guy and what he's up to. to call things off, and I don't think Ryan's too pleased about it. The joys of modern relationships. It's the 90s, love in the war zone. Well, I'm glad that I remembered to bring my flak jacket last night. Hey, our date in the country wasn't so bad. No, no, I'm not saying that wasn't bad at all. Actually, it would have been perfect if Iris hadn't kept showing up. Do you think she's following us around on our dates and reporting back to Dr. Spader? I think you're suffering from delusions of paranoia, but in <laughs> Iris Wheeler's case, you may be right. I had a really nice time, despite the dragon lady. Yeah, I did too. I had a great time. I really like this being wined and dined. You know, it, it oh, does pay do. to date a liberated woman. Oh. Well, next time the tab's on you, and we are not talking fast food in the hospital cafeteria. Well, speaking of hospitals, I've been doing surgery in about an hour. I'm sorry, I can't wait. It's all right. Don't worry about it. I'll see you over there. Oh, uh, listen, there's something I wanted to ask you. Every year around 4th of July, we have this shindig out at the farm, sort of a picnic. We? Gregory and me. Uh, this was last year. It was our first year as bachelors. It was a little bit strange, but we would like to continue the tradition. Well, I think you should. And I was uh, hoping that maybe you could come. I'd love to. As my co-host. Oh. <laughs> oh? Um, okay, okay, okay. Yes, okay, okay. good, good. <laughs> Um, just, just tell me what you need me to do. Well, it's a potluck sort of thing. Everybody brings a side dish, and I do my famous barbecue. Well, that, that sounds great. What do you need me to bring? How do you feel about pies? Pies. Pies. Lots of pies. See, I wouldn't ask, but I tasted the cookies that you made for the kids during the hospital Easter egg hunt, mm -hmm. and I think that you have a real flair for baking. Then, not really. Don't be modest. I think that you could whip something up that would win a blue ribbon. No, I, I really 
wouldn't say that, John. I don't want to put you on the spot here. Uh, uh, no, don't be silly. I, I, I want to help any way I can. Great. It's just... I knew that you'd say that. I'll see you at the hospital later.